Cindy has been a great supporter of what we've tried to achieve here, uh, and we thank you for that. And here's that good looking man sitting down there. Thank you very much. And I'll now recognise Margaret. forgotten anybody in it anyway. Uh, on the 11th of November and Anzac Day to us are now very, very meaningful things in our community. And horrors unimaginable. We pray that they are now at peace. We pray also for all those who continue to suffer. We remember especially today the Meridjig resident, Captain James Hook, currently deployed with the Australian Army in South East Asia. Waiting for the night. In the hedgerows, birds are singing, calling in the falling light. And over the hangars rises a bomber's moon, full and clear rising as the engines croon. And the planes are men coming home from victory. Over Belgium come the fighters and below the bomber's moon. Shot them down in flames below the bomber's moon. Young men sending young men white in uniform, looking as he did the day he died. And so a few months later, with his graduation now complete, he reported to the Royal Australian Air Force Recruitment Centre in Melbourne. The night he travelled south to London to receive his orders, 507 Luftwaffe bombers attacked London. Under the cover of darkness, which was of course preferable, and that the chance of survival, the Americans were very pleased to have someone with such experience in night flying. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. <laughs> Yay. Yay. 